and now we can rotate. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another Grease Pencil tutorial video. In this video, we're going to go over the Grease Pencil add-on, which I just discovered, and it is super useful. And if you like to draw or you are used to other pro uh, programs like Clip Studio Paint or other programs like that, uh, this will help you transition, I guess. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So cool, here we are in Blender Grease Pencil. Um, we're just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new file. All right, and I'm gonna save it. All right, and in order to enable the add-on, it's already built in, so you wanna co uh, come here to edit preferences. All right, so here's my window. I'm just gonna be kind of brief. So. Now that we're in here, we're going to search for Grease Pencil, Grease Pencil Tools, so we want to go ahead and uh, enable it. Alright, and now that it is enabled, mine's already enabled, I'm kind of going to go back here. Um, yeah, so basically which the first thing we'll go over and what you'll get is the Box Deform Tool. Uh, I love using this in other programs, so I'm glad that they have it now. So we will create like a little smiley face here. All right. And then we'll come over here and come down here. And now you have a new tab that says Grease Pencil. And here's the box to form. So when you have the box to form, um, first it, it, it selects the most recent stroke. So, um, So what you want to do is go tab in the edit mode and then do a box to form. So box to form. Now all the points that are selected, it will go off of the points that are selected. So yeah, so you can just pull these points, mess it around, mess with it to deform your drawing. You know, if you had a perspective drawing, you could change the perspective. Hit enter to apply and then control Z to get out of that. Now if you want to get more advanced, you want to hold control. You actually see the hotkeys on the, the top left. Hold control and then go up, which will add more divisions. And then control and right or left, which will add or subtract divisions. And what this will allow is a more finely tuned control of the box to form. It's basically a lattice. If you guys know lattices, and if you want me to do a tutorial, let me know. Hit, hit. So yeah, now he looks a lot more evil and mischievous, right? Um, so yeah, hit enter to apply, and there you go. So basically, just like sculpting, but box to form. All right, cool. And the other new adage that you get is, you can see right here, is straight stroke. Now, what you want to do to well, do that is draw a stroke somewhere like this, and then just hit straight stroke, and it straightens out the stroke. It's that simple. You can also come over here to the force. See, as you can see, that the lower the value, the less it the algorithm is applied, which will straighten it out. This is good for people who don't know how to draw straight strokes, and well, and draws a straight stroke cool but the next thing that I'm gonna show you sorry is rotate canvas so in order to do that well first this is completely up to you but in the grease pencil preferences there is actually a button let me kind of show you my screen really quick in the grease pencil preferences there's a button right here and it says show HUD you don't or use HUD you don't have to have that uh, I just do it so I can actually demonstrate for you guys but basically you want to do control alt middle mouse button um, yeah sorry control alt middle mouse button and now we can rotate the canvas and draw so if this is what you're used to drawing like this will help a lot right so there you go then you'll rotate and then you'll draw and then draw and this show HUD as you can see you see the, the rotation it also shows you the angle that you're rotating at if you want to read reset it so you do control alt middle mouse click and then it resets the rotation cool and the final thing that i am going to show you is now with this add-on you get two more brushes um, so in order to import those brushes you'll come over here to the tools panel so where it says brushes and then this drop down it says download and import texture brush pack 
Now you did before you don't have that, so this is what you normally have, and then you can do download and import texture br brush pack, and it'll say right here, look, 17 brushes installed. Now that you have it, um, you will be able to well use more brushes. So now you have watercolor brushes, texture to leaves brushes, um, cloud brushes, stone brushes, cool, all these brushes. And now you have a lot more than you had uh, before. So pretty cool and you can add texture and change the color maybe let's see yep yeah, change the color and yeah so yeah i hope that video helps you i hope you can use these tools to further your grease pencil um career i don't know <laughs> uh or just make everything look a lot nicer and cooler so yeah you guys if you like this video like and subscribe join the discord if you haven't already so i can see some of your artwork and answer some of your questions that you have with grease pencil and you have a great wonderful rest of your day i hope this add-on helped and you have yeah i'll see you in the next video